<laughs> I'm pretty excited, and I don't expect most people to understand. But uh, yeah, I was just um, stopping by a store uh, tonight. Not really on my way home, but I had some time, so I I dropped by on my bicycle. And I found this uh, shooter, which I've heard of before, but I always forget about it. It's pretty obscure. I did a search on Amazon. It's I couldn't find it anywhere. I mean, I don't know. I've never played it. It's um, yeah, it's probably mediocre. I don't know, but I got it for ten bucks, and it's one shooter closer to completing my PS One or PlayStation shmup collection 2D, right? Shmup collection. So I'm pretty stoked, and now I'm gonna play it for the first time and let you watch me suck. Woohoo! Alright, this may this game was uh, put out by Capcom. It was made by uh, Team 17 and Ocean Software in 1997, I guess. So, uh, I remember seeing it on lists of PS1 shmups, but honestly, I've never seen this game in the wild. So, yeah, just to find it, like in a regular store, was pretty exciting. And like I said, I checked on Amazon, and I couldn't find it, the Japanese Amazon. So, I don't know, I don't expect much from it, but I'm just excited because, uh, I don't know, I'm obsessed with collecting all the shmups. <laughs> this so I was just uh, on my way home from work tonight had my bicycle and there's a, a store that sells games not too far out of the way it's only about a mile out of the way maybe two miles actually and so I rode and I usually don't expect to find much and uh, yeah this was just right there and yeah exciting stuff you usually don't see this kind of an intro for a shoot em up Let me come straight to the point as time is not on our side. Unidentified ships are presently on a course with our solar system. All communication attempts have been met with heavy fire, and we must assume their intentions are hostile. Computer, patch this to the car. His face looks a lot different than her face. <laughs> it's kind of funny that they mixed actual video with the, uh, with the computer as graphics. They don't match. What is this game? Computer, patch this to the car. Your car is ugly. During initial contact, our main fighter carrier, Odyssey, was destroyed. But despite this incredible show of power... You want to tell you not to watch TV and drive? Get off the road! That's way worse than tucking on your phone and driving. I don't like this game. This is encouraging people to watch TV and drive, which, by the way, Tons of people in Japan do. We need you to leave immediately and intercept the alien ships. Yeah, the dubbing is slightly further. off. That's or never a good sign. Any further information <laughs> will be given on route via normal subspace. I'm trying to say her voice doesn't match her mouth. Sir, you're our best remaining pilot and our only hope. Best remaining good pilot sir. and only hope. So, by the way, I'm playing this on my PS3, just because it's simple. It's right there. So far, it seems to be just fine. There are some games like Gradius Gaiden that don't play. Gradius Gaiden that don't play perfectly. Press Punker is now online. Uh, <laughs> with, the, uh, with the PlayStation 3, hopefully this is not one of those games. This is a long intro for a shmup, but oh well. Never, like I said, never seen this game in the wild, so I'm just excited. Key. Okay, apparently his car is a. What's going on? Now it's a motorcycle. What is this game? So the car has is now flying itself back to the garage. He's riding a motorcycle. Is this supposed to be a spaceship shooter? How many vehicles can there be in one intro? This is 
so long. I swear half the data on this disc must be this intro. <laughs> if they'd spent all the time they spent on this intro making this shoot em up better, it could probably be like a, a title that everybody knows about. Oh well. It just adds to the fun because it's kind of random. You realize I can't, like, cut this cut this uh, intro. I have to watch it all the way through, so. <laughs> Finally, a spaceship. Sheesh. I thought maybe you were going to take a bus and a train and maybe a ferry before you got there. Oh my head. We're at five minutes since I put the game in. <laughs> I uh, have put a note in the description about when the gameplay actually starts because this is a really long intro. But uh, I don't want to cut it off. I want to see where it goes because it's so weird. I just never, ever expected to find a shooter mode that I didn't know about in this particular store. So, I mean, I know about it, but it was far in the back recesses of my mind. Here we go. Nice music. Alright, options. Let's see what we got. Uh, control setup, sound setup, display setup, set. Yeah, no. Can I go back, please? Yeah, okay. Password, difficulty, normal. Alright. What this says. Everything appears to be in English. Fire weapon, change weapon, fire mega bomb. Wow, there's a lot of buttons. Multiple formation. I can't remember all this. Fire weapon, change weapon. Uh, okay, this could be bad. Let's play the game already. Ow! Man, the uh, control pad seems to be. Start! Okay. okay, you get to pick your ship. You have the excess of one, two, three. Well, yeah, I'm going with this one. Always nice when you can pick a ship. Adds to the replay value of the game. When it comes to loading times, I don't know. I think that people complain too much. Uh, one of the systems people complain a lot about is the Neo Geo uh, CD. I have the CD-Z with the faster loading times, and then I have the regular one. I never use my CD. I don't care. If I have 30 seconds, I'll go grab a beer. Come on, people. Quit your whining. That's just my view. I mean, yeah, sometimes it gets a little bit annoying, but anyway, let's play this game. So I'm, like, getting hit a lot. And, uh, so that clock in the background is not, uh, actually correct, but it's not too far off. <laughs> it's actually 12.40 midnight. I should probably stop talking and actually try to play the game. I'm a little bummed because... Actually, let's try that. Uh, on the PS3, as you know, with some games you can change the controller to analog. I don't know if that makes it better or not, but I'll try it anyways. Unsupported controller. All right, so we're stuck with the D-pad, which is fine, but I wanted to check. Yeah, 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 you're fine. Let's go. Oh, what? What did I do? Break the game? <laughs> I'm trying to make a video here, people. <laughs> really? I switched it back to digital. What do you want from me? Start to, okay, I don't know what that was about. Anyway, sorry about that. Okay, you can watch me continue to be bad. 
Star Strike. Star Strike. So there's no Japanese in this game. Squares change weapons. There we go. Alright. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm so busy just checking out all the graphics and stuff in the background. I'm just playing horribly. Something different, but it's definitely a 2D shoot 'em up. Forced scrolling. Release Mega Ball. What the priest? <laughs> ah, release Mega Ball. That's what happens. It makes a circle, a pink circle. Ah, man. Star Strike missile. I probably should have plugged in my arcade stick for this, but I was just so eager to put it in and try it out. <laughs> I didn't bother. I've got it in a special. <laughs> I have a whole uh, crate for my arcade sticks. Well, yeah, I mean, it's no. Uh, Radiant Silver Gun, <laughs> or Hyper Duel, or whatever, but, uh, you know, those games are on the PS1 anyway. But for ten bucks, to add to my shoot up collection for the PS1, I'm very happy tonight. Especially because I didn't have to look for it, you know, and, and search it out, I just, it was there. There's something about just, uh, oh, stop shooting me. Mega Bomb! Whatever it's called. I just want to see what the next level looks like. I don't think that's probably a good sign. I was right. Ah! <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, continue! I am not aiming for... Uh, yeah. Excellent gameplay here. I just want to see more of the game! I'm out of time anyway. Just die already. Okay, I probably shouldn't be there. everybody. Write it down. 713-948. Press fire to continue. So yeah, I was trying to find out about this on the internet and I, I found out about another PS1 shmup that I knew basically nothing about called Airgrave. And everybody says it's mediocre, which means it's probably no good, but I ordered it because... I'll forget if I don't, like the ones that I never hear about or see, if I don't order them when I read about them, I'll forget about them for another year. So, uh, you can expect to see some gameplay, probably bad gameplay of that as well. That one I think is a vertical scrolling shooter. This one, uh, as far as I can tell, is uh, horizontal so far. Oh, what am I talking about? Well, obviously it's horizontal so far, but I watched a little bit of video on YouTube and apparently it switches to uh, vertical for some parts. So, right. Yeah, it looks pretty good. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. My feeling just playing it is it's just okay. But that's not, I mean, that's part of the point of it. Of course, I want it to be a good game, but even more than that, it's just the fact that it's this genre. And that I never hear about this game unless I go out of my way to read about obscure PlayStation 1 shoot 'em ups So, yeah, I probably made it clear already that I'm excited. Because honestly, if this had had like a $40 price tag on it, and I couldn't find it on Amazon, I couldn't find it on the auction site, I might have bought it just because I'm really trying to get the whole set of uh, PlayStation 1 shoot 'em ups among some other systems. But 
Anyway, I'm glad that I didn't do that, because, yeah, this is not a $40 game, I'd say, but, um, yeah, $10, awesome. And that intro, oh, man. <laughs> Language barrier is not an issue with this one either, eh? Like, if they speak English, there aren't even Japanese subtitles, nothing. I kind of feel bad for Japanese people. How are they supposed to know what people are saying? To be fair, a lot of Japanese people can understand quite a bit of English. They just don't speak it much. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. They can read a lot, especially. It's an interesting thing about the education system in Japan and the differences between the languages. Uh, you know, you find people, if you write down something, like if you come to Japan to visit, if you write something down, they feel a lot more comfortable with it, and uh, there's a greater likelihood that they'll understand what you're trying to say. But speaking and understanding is kind of another... Yeah, I definitely need an arcade stick. This D-pad is... Like, the movement is really... Uh, uh, it's hard to make slight movements. Like, if I just barely push it, this shit moves quite a bit. Not to say that I would play well otherwise, just, uh... Okay, here we go, yeah, this is what I was talking about. Now we're going vertical. Ah! graphics are pretty cool. But yeah, as far as gameplay, I'd say this game's just okay. But if you're a shoot 'em up fanatic, then, uh, like me, then, I don't know, for me it's... I'll read a lot of these, uh, forums and stuff online. I spend a lot of time reading that kind of stuff about shoot 'em ups. And people will say, oh, it's a mediocre shmup, avoid it. I don't understand that. Because to me, I want to play even the worst ones. Uh... Honestly, one of the worst shoot 'em ups I've ever played in my life is D Force on the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom, and uh, it's bad. But I still enjoyed it because it's fun to compare. It's fun to see just how bad it is, you know. And uh, yeah, this is cool. Like the intro is cool, the graphics are cool. And I mean, the gameplay is not bad. It's just kind of I don't know. It doesn't. It hasn't reached out and grabbed me. You know what I mean? But it could just be my mood. You never know. What? Yeah, I mean, I would have spent more on this if I, if it had cost more. I'm really glad that they kept the price a meager ten dollars. Ow! So yeah, apparently this was released in the. I want to say this came out in PAL regions as well, but I don't know if there is a North American release of this game. Okay, after all that, are we finally at a boss? Oh my head, are you kidding me? I can't even see what's going on. Okay, this is not... There's, they can't even see what's happening. How are you supposed to play this? I don't know what's going on. It's brown on brown. Yeah, if you're gonna dodge bullets, you need to be able to see them. Really? And you're, <laughs> you're shooting at me from like an inch away. Whatever. This ranks up there as one of the cheaper bosses I've ever fought. Like, even with practice, it's hard to imagine how you'd get good at it because. He comes in and out of, like, uh, range, like, you can't hit him sometimes, and then when he's in range, you can hit him, but he's just shooting. How are you supposed to dodge him? I don't know. I don't see myself playing this for hours and hours, but you never know. Ah! <laughs> okay, let me continue from right here, please. I just want to see what else there is. Yeah, I'm not recommending this to people who are just casual uh, shoot 'em up fans, but if you're uh, if you're into collecting them, then it's one more that you might want to get for your collection. But that boss was ridiculous. I 
do not approve of this boss. Password 900277. Wow, this is getting long. The belt. It's a belt. It's a yardstick. No, it's a belt. Okay. If anyone can tell me what that reference is from, I will be truly amazed. Of course, I guess you can Google just about anything nowadays, but yeah. Play just a little bit more and, uh, okay, this reminds me of Philosoma, which is another one of those very cheap PS1 shooters that nobody likes, but I like it. Uh, you can find that game literally for like a dollar or two dollars all the time. Uh, I think it should be worth a little bit more than that, because it's kind of neat. They, they try to do all kinds of, uh, different kinds of shoot 'em ups in one game. They don't do any of them particularly well, but, I don't know, this whole asteroid dodging thing, not my favorite. Like, get out of my way, I'm trying to shoot spaceships. <laughs> but, I mean, to be fair, games like Ikaruga and uh, Radiant Silver Gun also have a lot of dodging of stuff on the screen, so, I don't know, okay. Also, <laughs> I'll just keep complaining. I also don't like game shoot 'em up games where you're... You keep changing uh, altitude, like you go top, low, high, low, high. Sometimes you can control it. Like, okay, I understand the idea, the concept, but mm, I don't know. Spend the, use that. Mm, okay, really? Uh, what am I trying to say? All the time you spent programming the game so that you could do that, nobody even likes it anyway. Use it to make the music better and the graphics better and the controls better. You know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going off now. But it's good for the sake of variety. And it does look nice. I will give it that. <laughs> I don't even know what just happened. Looks like we got out of the asteroid belt anyway. Asteroid belt with a capital ass. Okay, and now we're already in another cheap boss, most likely. I mean, that seems to be redundant, apparently, on this game. Cheap boss. Just boss means cheap. <laughs> my special before I die, which I just did. <laughs> Shameless continue. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I used my special and then it got out of the way. It's like trying to use your uppercut on Mike Tyson and then all of a sudden he... Well, whatever. Anyway... Oh, I just flew into the thing. Not recommended for D-pad play. Definitely this would be a lot better with an arcade stick. This boss actually is not so cheap. After I played it a bit, I'm able to see what's happening and I can get out of the way a little bit. I'm just, you know, it's one in the morning, so I'm kind of not quite with it. But, uh, I'm just so happy to get this game. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> oh, I don't want to continue again just to Love beat you. For you! What? It appears that the special. <laughs> Give me those little orbs, they must be something good. Okay, get ready for the password! 213490. Oh, so glad I'm recording this, I might need those later. actually pretty cool to get a password so they can go to different stages in the in the shooter. That's neat. I like that. Worlds of Ice. All right then. Now loading. So this uh, looks like it could be the longest video I've uploaded to YouTube yet, but I figure people can skip around and just see different parts. I don't expect anybody to watch it the whole way through. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying this. Like, that last level was all vertical. This one so far, is, I think at some point it's going to shift back to horizontal, but I do like it when games give you a little bit of both. That's neat. Um, there aren't that many games out there that do that. They do it well. Yeah, great. Hey! I'm talking about. I could do that again. Check. Uh! 
Yeah, basically it's just hard to see the bullets that are supposed to be hitting you. Like, even the bullets that I'm shooting are kind of, uh, translucent. So, eh, I don't know. But I'm enjoying the graphics, and the music's a little bit too much in the background for me. The explosions are a little too loud, and the music's not loud enough, but, uh, I like this kind of music in shooters, 1997. I love the jam, pump it up while your feet are stomping, shim up a little more, get the party jump, I don't know. Variety of enemies could maybe be increased slightly, I will say. <laughs> I feel like I just played a little bit of Space Invaders just now. What in the world? All this stuff is stuck. Here. Hey, we're going horizontal on your honey. Bring the noise! Bring the funk! What is this? Is this Dodonpachi? Are these bees attacking me? What's going on? They even sound like bees. They look like bees. They're bees! They're evil ice hornets. Die, evil ice hornets. Die, I say. Oh, what the heck? I just ran into a stalagmite. I know that because stalactites come from the top. T, tight stalactite from the top. Yeah. My public school education. Rearing its ugly head. <laughs> Get out of my way. Depending on the country, though, public school and private school have like opposite meanings, so I don't know. What I mean by that as an American is the one where I didn't have to pay to go to school. <laughs> Except for, you know, taxes, but you pay that anyway. And I didn't pay them, my parents did. Hang out up here. Looks like I can. <laughs> what? Another one? Boy. Oh, yeah! Sounds like a Sega game. I don't think I've killed him. Alright, I'm pausing it because I want to hear this music louder. I'm going to make a long video. Might as well make it loud. not among the best of the PS1 shoot 'em ups but at the same time, it's got personality! <laughs> I think this game's just gonna keep letting me continue, and then it's gonna keep giving me passwords. <laughs> I actually like that, especially considering how cheap it is. Alien installation is defending against the chamber. Destroy the alien. Oh man, I don't know if you can hear that, but it was pretty stupid. Something like, alien installation is defending the entrance. Destroy the alien. Yeah, dude, I think I know that. I'm in a ship looking at it. Uh, <laughs> just imagine, in real life, if somebody would talk to you like that. I think you would want to say that. Alright, this is wicked long, so... Uh, I will beat this boss, I don't know how many continues it'll take, <laughs> but uh, try to beat this boss, show you a bit of the next level, and then call it good. Or not, I don't know, maybe I'll play all the way through. Never mind, I'm not making any promises. This, level, this uh, video is so long now, I might as well just go for the gold. <laughs> 866141. Press fire to continue. Now loading. Oh, you know what? I do need to stop, though, because the battery is almost dead on my camera. So we'll just get a glimpse of the stronghold, and uh, we'll have to cut it short. Sorry. I know you wanted to see more. <laughs> I will say it seems to get a little better as it goes on, but, uh, yeah, plenty of criticisms to be made about this. But again, $10! I didn't really know about it. This level looks pretty cool. I'm able to actually dodge the bullets. I can see them coming. I like the graphics. Alright, we'll 
Oh, oh, credits one. All right, never mind. Maybe this is my last continue. <laughs> Hoping my camera doesn't just die. I actually kind of like this level. This is one where I feel like I can sort of see and understand what's going on a bit. It might be better on a smaller screen, too. I'm playing it on such a big screen that uh, some of the bullets and stuff don't look as solid, if that makes sense. I don't know, I'm kind of getting hit to it now. <laughs> this is one of those games that's kind of like, it had so much potential. <laughs> idea is just not particularly well executed uh, at most times. But yeah, the graphics are pretty dang good actually for a PS1 game. PlayStation 1 game, PlayStation whatever. You'll never hear me call PSX. Don't worry about that. Alright. Ooh, I like this one. Kill them all! Alright, the camera shut off. <laughs> I figured I've gone this far and I think I'm on my last continue. I might as well finish so you can see what happens at the very end. All right, we go on. Where am I? Okay. I just can't see any incoming bullets. I mean, not any. A lot of incoming bullets. Those red balls I can see for the most part, but... I don't know. It's my first time playing, so maybe if I get used to it, it won't be so bad. But yeah, I don't know if this is a rare game or what, but like I said, I never ever see this in the wild. Games like Philosoma, which I mentioned before, I see it everywhere I go. That's got to be the least rare shoot 'em up there is in Japan. Except for maybe one of the Space Invaders or something, I don't know, but that thing's everywhere. That's that's some bullet hell action right there. That's some uh, serious bullet dodging that needs to happen. For the most part, I can see them. Oh, hello, can't see those though. They disappear behind my flamethrower, which is apparently what I'm using right now. I don't know if that's effective. I haven't been using the change weapon button, I'm just kind of going with the flow. It seems to change on its own quite a What the? Bit. Okay, I think that's the real game over. Well, I'm glad that I died by a boss instead of just some stupid random stalagmite. Oh. See, now, that was worth waiting for. <laughs> Game over! Game over, yeah! Would have been another interesting way to do it. Yeah, I'm waiting. What are you loading? You're loading probably just the title screen, because it's... Oh, look at that. I have a high score. Uh, yeah. A, A, A. Okay, thank you for watching. <laughs> no, not high scores. Back, I say. There you go. Lead coder design, Andrea Static. Don't mind me, I'm just dancing. Wow, Rico Holmes gets a lot of screen time. Way to go, Rico! Hi! Hi! Bjorn! In the house! What the? Bjorn got like two seconds! 
Somebody needs to talk to Rico. I think he's got a little bit of a narcissism problem. His name was on the screen forever! These other people are kind of like, well, yeah, we get a couple seconds of fame, too. Alright, now I really am done. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye!